So the mission that I was called to serve in is the Samoa Pia mission, but that mission also includes Western, so uh, Western Samoa and American Samoa. Um, these are two different countries. Western Samoa is its own country, independent, and American Samoa is a territory of the United States. Um, although these uh, two countries are with like a 15 minute flight away from each other, as you travel between the two of them, it's, it's like you're entering two completely different worlds. Both speak the same language, they both speak Samoan, but there's completely different um, ways that each country runs themselves. So for example, um, in Western Samoa, it's more um, New Zealand influenced, as in American Samoa, because it's a territory of the United States, it has more American influence. Um, for example, driving. If you were to go to a Western Samoa, you drive on the left side of the road. But once you go to American Samoa, you drive on the right side of the road. Um, food, if you go to Western Samoa, lots of the things that are imported from other countries come from New Zealand and Australia and um, other Asian countries. If you go to American Samoa, um, many things and most things are actually um, imported from the United States. Um, another example is the day. In Western Samoa, they're on the other side of the international dateline. So they are a day ahead of American Samoa, although the two islands are just 15 minutes away from each other. Um, if I'm in Western Samoa, for example, today is Thursday. If I was in American Samoa and today's Thursday, um, in Western Samoa, it's Friday. Um, very big differences. Even the, the people, the people are very different. The way they look is very different. The way they act is also very different. Um, the way they speak is very different. Um, people in American Samoa have more of an American accent if they can speak English. They have more of an American accent, and you'll find more English speakers in American Samoa. But when you go to Western Samoa, there's a very small population of English speakers, and if they do speak English, most of them speak um, like a New Zealand, Australian kind of English, because there's very small, or, or there's a very, there's, there's, the American influence in Western Samoa is very limited, it's very small. Um, another example of differences between the two are um, the culture. Culture is a little bit more prominent when you go to Western Samoa because of the lack of American influence. When you go to American Samoa, many of the things they do are American. Um, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I had to serve in both Western and American Samoa. And despite the differences in each one, I, my love for the people in both of these places are, are very strong and they're equal. I love all um, Samoans and I'm grateful for the opportunity that Heavenly Father granted me and was able to give me to serve among the people of both Western Samoa and American Samoa. And I'm grateful for the many lessons that they were able to teach me.